It's Philip in the morning. Good morning. <laughs> and Jane's behind the camera because <laughs> she's in her pajamas. Okay, go ahead and uh, get your Keurig calendar or whichever one's on top first is fine. Right. It doesn't Let's matter. Take whatever one's on top. It's All tease right. of Christmas. Yay, my tease. For December 9th. December 9th. There we go. What was it? Vadam? Is that how you I think that's it? how you pronounce it. I don't even know. But I like, I like the tease a lot. Let's see. All right, what kind of tea do I have today? Number nine. Oh, there's our, here, by the way, in case you're curious, there's what our clock looks like. It makes all the noise. And yes, that is a Christmas pig. All right, sorry to get you dizzy. All right. All right. What kind of tea did I get? Ooh, lay, the lid's loose, labels affixed. <laughs> all right. We got, I can't read it from here. Can you read that? Um, Assam Exotic Black Tea. Hmm. Never heard of that, but I'll give it a shot. All right. Okay. There you go. Yeah, Put that there, watch the lid. Yeah. Oh, this goes back. There. What's next? Keurig? Next we have Keurig. Phillips coffee for today. 24 cups of cheese. How was the caribou yesterday? Oh, it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, don't I, like, I like caribou. It's good. Yeah. I have no peppermint bark for you. <laughs> no, no. All right. Number nine. Stay away from that just yep. in case it's really I didn't actually drink that yet. I'm going to drink that for you later. All right. What do you have well, We have number nine is Panera. Oh, I didn't know Panera had K-Cups. I'm telling you, this calendar is showing me things huh. I never knew. Panera. Let me take a look for a second. Colombian medium roast coffee. Okay, so a nice normal coffee for yep. you. There we nice. go. Very good. All right. And last but not least, gelé. Gelé for my baby. On my man. On my man. Yeah, find number nine first because we didn't look ahead. Okay. Let's see. Number nine. Oh, right there. That's All right. right away. Here we go. Never, never forget to read the door. Yep. Read the door. Read the door. The door says... Warmest thoughts. Oh, good. All right. And now... <laughs> need some warmth. Actually, it's not too cold today, but it's raining. Oh, that one came out pretty easy. There I'm we sorry, go. I'm uh, hold on. Let me see. It's uh, orange mandarin spread. Okay, that's Phillips, because I oh, don't I... like orange spread. Yeah, I like marmalade, mandarin spread, all that. So that's so. yours. All right, that's our morning advent. <laughs> see you in a little bit with the kitties. It's turtle's advent time. Ta-da! Good, good timing, turtle. <laughs> All right, we do have, unfortunately, the light on again today because it's dark and miserable outside, so it's dark in the house. All right, kitty cat, you ready? You ready for the advent? No, you're not ready? Shaking your head? All right, let's look for number nine. Let's see, oh, there it is. Okay, let's hope for something good. Let's see what we get. Well, I don't know, turtle. It's just a, whoops, <laughs> I dropped it. It's just a big green ball. You might like this. Here, try this out. See what you think. What do you think? Go get it. Fetch. Go get the ball. No? <laughs> Turtle. Miss, you're interested in this ball? Is anybody interested in this ball? Turtle. Seriously. She didn't even look at it. Mama, get it. Here. Anybody? Anybody interested in that ball? Nope. Not even a little bit. Nobody's interested. Okay. Hopefully tomorrow there'll be a fuzzy ball. Hey, everybody. Day nine of Advent. I'll open up some calendars here in just a minute. Uh, but I just wanted to note that yesterday was a really hard day, as you know, because my you know, anniversary of my dad's passing, and that was bad enough. Uh, but yesterday after Phil and I had recorded the you know show from yesterday and we were starting to post it, my cousin uh, left me a message to give her a call. I'm not going to use anybody's names in case they don't want to be on our YouTube show, obviously. But um, she uh, let us know that her, um, her brother, who's my cousin as well, of course, passed yesterday. And they're younger than me, so I'm just like, what's going on? You know, it always feels like the holiday time is the worst time that you, you're going to hear about, you know, somebody passing in your family. So again, my ex-mother-in-law, December 1st, my cousin yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping that's enough for this year. But at the same time, it's just so sad because um, uh, my aunt, who's his mother, obviously is still with us and that can't be fun. But also her first son passed away a couple of years ago. So now she's lost two sons and it's just like two of my cousins, obviously. And I just... Uh, it's, it's just awful. And so my 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 female cousin, like I'm trying to say her name, um, is still with us, thank God. And she's got a beautiful daughter and, and a husband. And um, hopefully they'll be around for a very long time. 
Um, but anyway, uh, so I just wanted to put a note out there to, you know, I'm saying prayers for that family. Obviously, if anybody prays out there, please say a prayer for Jane's cousin's family. Anyway, so let's get to opening some calendars to try to keep keep this light. This better be the last sad day. I'm, I'm tired of sadness. Um, but let's do it. Let's open up some calendars and have a little bit of fun. All right, let's start with Clarence today. I was so happy I got my comfort scrub yesterday. And here comes Turtle. Hi, baby. Hi. Well, hi, my love. You want to open up admin calendars at Mama? She's so cute. I can't stand it. She's so cute. You can't see her, but she's looking at me cutely. Anyway, let's look at number nine and see what we get. Oh, it's a little tiny thing. Um, this is the Clarins Total Eye Lift. Yay! I'm going to go put some on right now because I need an eye lift after all the crying I've been doing. <laughs> all right, there's Clarins today. Okay, Eve Roche. Uh, number nine. Kind of heavy. Something good in this box. Oh, pretty. Go green top coat, glitter top coat. Oh, how pretty is that? I might actually do that when I do my nails this weekend. As you can see, my nails need to be done. I haven't done them since Thanksgiving, so I'm going to do them tomorrow. Um, I was going to put some red. Maybe I'll put some glitter top coat on top of it. I'll give it a try. Number nine for L'Occitane. I think these are so, oh, I see. These, sometimes it's hard to tell which way they open. It looks like they should open this way, but it's actually this way. Here we go. And what do we have? We have, oh, a nice lip balm. That I could, I always use that. I always have lip balm in my purse because sometimes, especially in the winter time, it gets so dry. And you just want some lip balm, and I love lip balm. We don't get a lot of these in the calendar, so I'm glad to have it. Okay, I just ditched the recording of me opening this because it was annoying, and I didn't want you to all watch me struggle again. So I tore apart number nine because it wouldn't do it. And then I finally grabbed whatever it was out. I really didn't read it yet because I was just like, I want to show the people together. But, oh my goodness, what a pain in the, excuse me, pain in the neck. Um, oh, it's a lip balm. Da -da -da -da. I just talked about that, but this is vanilla coconut. Oops, sorry. It's hard to see because it glares. It's vanilla coconut lip balm. And it's just so funny because I just said we don't get a lot of lip balm, and we did, and this is a full size, which is nice. So appreciative. It's just a pain in the neck to get out of that box. <laughs> okay, it's body shop time. And number nine is right at the top. Can I say how much I'm glad today is Friday? This week has been insanity, and I'm so glad it's almost over. I have a few more meetings this afternoon. Oops. Other than that, I am done this weekend. I'm waiting for this weekend. All right, number nine, how pretty. Oh, sorry, I forgot to read this. Sign up today to volunteer at your local care home, food bank, women's refuge, or homeless shelter. Yes, Phil and I have done that before. Very, very good to do. We need to do more of that. Um, I cannot wait until we retire. We're retiring in 37, 37 months, actually a little less than that. I know it's ridiculous to count like that, but it just sounds better than three years. Um, but when we do retire, or if they, if they fire me first, you never know, um, I plan on doing a lot of volunteering, doing, you know, whatever I can to do to help people who need help. So that's my goal for sure after retirement. It's hard to do when you're working so much, but that is the goal. Not that you care about what I'm doing, but I'm just telling you. All right, here we go. Ooh, yay, yay, yay. Grapefruit, oh, okay. Shower gel, which I love a shower gel. Grapefruit, not that thrilled. <laughs> I don't like the smell of grapefruit. If you remember from last year, I complained anytime anything had grapefruit in it. However, my girlfriend Pam, hey Pam, if you're watching this, she likes grapefruit. So hello, guess what you're going to get when I see you? I'm going to not even open this and let it just be uh, brand new for you. And I'll give it to you when I see you. Last one for today is the Kiehl's calendar. It's number nine. It's down here at the bottom. So I'm going to do it this way so it doesn't make everything tumble. I like to put the boxes back in so it looks nice every day. I'm <laughs> strange like that. All right, let's see what we get. Ooh, nice uh, size. Ultra Facial Cleanser, yay, for all skin types. And that's a pretty nice size. It's not too tiny either. I could use it a couple of different times. Um, like I said, I love a facial cleanser. Wash my face twice a day like you're supposed to. <laughs> um, but I do stick to one brand as I'm, I, what I try to do, and then last year, in case you can't buy any of this stuff, after I was done last year, I literally organized all of the products into facial stuff, makeup, blah, blah, blah. And then I put all the Kiehl stuff in one bag and all the Clarence stuff in another bag. And then what I'm doing is I bring out a bag um, when I'm ready for new products. And I just kind of, that way I use all the products together that are the same 
um, brand. I don't think that makes a huge difference that you shouldn't have to do that, but I like to, so that's just me. I'm very uh, organized when it comes to things. <laughs> All right, there's my facial cleanser. So there's today's stash. Some nice fa facial cleanser, a nice um, grapefruit bath uh, gel for my friend Pam. I'm gonna do my nails with that glitter this weekend and see what it looks like. And uh, two lip, lip balms and an eye cream. Very nice selection for the day. It's Friday, December 9th. Oh my God, it's Friday. It's been a long, <laughs> long, long week. It has. So it get has. yourself some wine so you can feel better at least. Okay. Number get, nine. Get Number some, nine. Get some libations, spirits. Oh, wow, this one's really in there. Boy, you're weak. No, it's just... <laughs> Some extractors wow, of Jaws really, of Life to get that really out. Oh, wow. that looks like a nice <laughs> Speaking of Jaws of Life, it's a, mm. it's a fire department emblem. El Bombero Cariñena Producto de España. Okay, I don't usually like Spanish wine, but that one looks pretty cool. It looks cool. All right. All right, you pour that while I get the cookie. Okay. Hopefully, in a couple of days, I'll be able to have some of these wines. I still save some of the ones I wanted, so I'm going to get them soon. All right, number nine cookie. Hopefully it's a cookie I like. I feel like I'm getting nothing out of this advent calendar at night stuff. Except I got the one exit thing that one night. All right, let's see. Let's see if you have. Okay. All right, there's two packages, which is nice, two people. Mm -hmm. And this one is, oh, you'll love this. Mm. Gingerbread cookie. Oh, this is the one with the icing in the middle. Huh. Okay, that's weird because the other day we had this cookie. They are there are definitely duplicates in this box for yeah, sure. But there was one. But there's only one in that day. And today now there's two. Mm. So at least I get to try it. Not a big fan of the gingerbread either, but I probably will try to keep this because I want something. <laughs> if I remember right, it wasn't super strong gingerbread like ginger snaps. It wasn't yeah. quite that potent. So well, I'll have, to, I'll, have to, I'll have to give it a shot yeah. with my hot tea or something. How's the wine? Go ahead and tell me. It's pretty good for a smell. Spanish wine. I can really smell them. You can smell it. Ooh. <laughs> I want yeah. to take a I know. A couple more days. All right. Yep. Okay, kids, so that's our wine and cookies. And we'll get into the puzzle next. Saw some puzzles, yay. Um, December 9th, short one again. Hmm. You open the box in the laundry room. The inside is surprising, not actually being a box at all. It is, in fact, a secret door to a small passageway connecting to another room. Oh boy. But it is pitch black in there. That's funny, there was always enough light before, even if it was only a bluish icy shimmer. But thankfully, you prepared yourself well and bring out the large torch you found in the storage room. Are there a few candles or a light switch in here? You have little desire to venture into a pitch black room armed only with a torch, and as a precaution, you shine your light around the walls first. There is a fuse box there. Mm. Perhaps a fuse has just blown. You open the fuse box and see some loose cables lying inside, Great. as well as three cards. Perhaps this is just another riddle to be solved, but there's no combination lock this time. It's wires. All right, let's see what's in number nine. It says okay. open door number nine. You will find three riddle cards. I, I one, I three. Number nine. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So riddle card number one. I'm not going to show you the box. It's empty, like black inside. So It says the room is dark. It's no surprise you can't see dots before your eyes. Their sequence is the problem here. Solutions do not just appear. Then digits help in a time of need, so build your code from what you read. And number two is just, I think it's just black. We're not sure yet. <laughs> nice. And number three is just black. 
So there's going to be something about these that you can see in a certain. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe we wet them in the ink. Oh, that's an ultraviolet light in there. Yeah. Like, and it says nothing in that room at all. There is just barely an, a visible fuse box. It, it's not worth putting up on the camera. You won't see it. All right. Well, let's try to figure this one out. See you in a little bit. We solved it. Yay! Didn't need any help. No cheat book. And but it took a while. The box and the cubicle in there. Didn't matter. The Didn't little matter. dreary image in there was pointless. Nope. Was and just to reread the clue real quick, the room is dark, no surprise, you can't see dots before your eyes. Well, Philip noticed that on the actual, well, you can't see this, but on the riddle cards, the eye and riddle, one of them has three dots for the eye, one of them has just the normal one dot for the eye, and one has two dots for the eye. <laughs> so we're like, oh, I bet you those are the dots. And then I figured out that we ordered the cards, you know, our I1, I2, I3, but it said to me about the order being wrong. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I actually said, okay, well, if you put them in the one, two, three order, and then you look at the dots, it's two, three, one. So what I did is I put them in two, three, one order, and then we counted the dots at the top. So three, one, two. Which I know yep. sounds ridiculous. It took a while to figure it out. In the beginning, we were actually looking at the black card. We we're putting light behind it to see if there's anything under like a, you know, a trick <laughs> pen or something. But it wasn't. Yep. So we put in two, three, um, no, three, two, three, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. And then Phil went into the box. And I went here. And we were on the nine. And we went up and to the right. Mm -hmm. Le uh, right. No, sorry, just to the right. Down. Hold on, yeah. I had it upside down. Hold on, upside down. To back. the right. Go back to, go back to nine. I'm wrong. Yep. Okay, to the right. To the right. To the left. Back to the left. And then down into the and left. And down here, and you get hexagon, uh, diamond. diamond, triangle. Upside down triangle. Yep. I would say upside down triangle. I guess it's a triangle. It's and, triangle. And that was it. It was number nine. So, I mean, it took a while yep. to do that. But it was just, you know, again, it's the card's supposed to remind everybody. Oh, by the way, spoilers. We didn't say that. Shoot. Well, hopefully, oh gosh. If you're watching this many shows at this point, you figured it out. But anyway, um... So one, two, and three were the original order. The dots need to be put into two, three, thirty-one. And then once I had an order of two, three, one, I counted the dots, and that's how we got it to three, one, two. Yep, three, one, two. Yep. Oh my God, not hard, but annoying because obviously we thought there's more to it with the box or the black cards. Yeah. So we did it. On to number ten tomorrow. Number ten. Yep, okay. got it. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.